Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and today we're going to be unboxing the Oppo R5, which is currently the world's thinnest smartphone. It's 4.85 millimeters thin, and it feels surprisingly solid in your hand. Let's take a look. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. We have the R5, but we'll get to that in just a second. Peel that back, and we have the PSU. Headphones, which are interesting because they are micro USB. There's a little adapter right here for that. We have a SIM card popper and a case. Very nice. Inside the case, we have the user manuals. Oh, the case looks nice. That's going to get dirty real quick though. And then we have a micro USB camera. The Oppo R5 is 5.2 inches with an AMOLED display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. That gives it a PPI of 423. Under the hood, a Snapdragon 615 processor running at 2.1 gigahertz with 2 gigabytes of RAM. On the rear, we have a 13 megapixel shooter capable of 4K and 120 frames per second slow motion. You'll notice that it does stick out from the phone a few millimeters. On the front, we have a 5 megapixel cam hood, a 2000 mAh battery that is fast charging. In the review, I'm going to take a closer look at what that means. Uh, like we saw in the box, it is a high volt charger. The disappointing thing right off the bat is this is 16 gigabytes and there's no SD card for expansion. It comes with LTE, NFC, Bluetooth, and the entire thing only weighs in at 155 grams, which is a little bit more than you might expect for a smartphone that is only 4.85 millimeters thick. What's nice about when you peel off the plastic is that you'll notice that there's a screen protector already installed. Another thing worth noting is that the R5 has rapid charge, so you have to use the official charger, and since it only has a 2000 mAh battery, it's going to need to be charged, well, more than a 3000 mAh battery, that's for sure. So there are some instructions here uh, that come with the phone. So I've peeled off the plastic and set up the phone. There was nothing special about setting up a Google account on this, but the home screen or the lock screen, you can go phone call home and uh, or into messenger. It's kind of strange that there's no camera. Ah, there it is. Swipe to the right. There's the camera. Maybe let's just start with that. Take a quick photo of my hand. Always like testing out with that. And the detail on that's not great. The line on the top of my hand is okay-ish. Uh, obviously there's hardware buttons in here for back. It's been a while since I've used a phone that's had that. Um, been quite used to the software buttons. Well, let's just take a look at this 1080p display. The viewing angles are actually quite decent. It's nice and vibrant. I could have loaded some more high resolution pictures on here. These are okay. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, so this is Color OS. Like many Chinese manufacturers, the lack of the app drawer is what's going on with that. Uh, in the tools is where you can generally find your download manager and update. I'm using the current version. Um, pulling down the top, that's a decent number of quick launch icons, you can end all. I like that they kind of give you this ability to manage your RAM and speed and stuff just from like a quick one touch. Into settings, a very standard display here, sound. Let's get rid of these touch sounds, it's kind of annoying. So screen gestures off. Uh, these are becoming a lot more standard, so you can add a screen gesture, so you can decide to make any of these and then have it be something. Um, it's becoming a lot more standard these days. About the phone, 
Yeah, it is running ColorOS uh, 2.0 and the Android KitKat 4.4.4. So this is the octa-core processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, but we already went over all of that stuff. So this was just a kind of quick and dirty first impressions look and unboxing of the Oppo R5. Up until one announcement ago, the world's thinnest smartphone at 4.85 millimeters. Yeah.